Hey, Mr. Leadsman here. Well, unfortunately, my HD16 broke. So I can't record any music videos for a few weeks. Good thing I got the warranty. I did want to share a couple of guitar tech tips that I've learned recently. First, I'll show you how to fix that loose whammy bar on an Edge 3 tremolo. And I'm going to show you how to get more life from those ball-in strings. So firstly, the loose whammy bar is a real hassle. It doesn't stay where you need it. It's non-responsive, and it can even come off in your hand while you're playing. And your ability to flutter is really reduced. I read there was an adjustment for this, but I just couldn't find it until I pulled the whole bridge out of the guitar. Sure enough, once I did that, there it was. In case you were wondering, the screw right here sets how deep the whammy bar will go in the hole. I like to set mine to where it just clears the volume and tone knobs. You don't need to pull the whole bridge out to make the adjustment. All you need to do is pull the whammy bar down and get a 2 millimeter Allen key and tighten the set screw to your liking. Now it'll stay where you leave it. It won't fall out. It'll be way more responsive, plus your ability to flutter will be greatly improved. Here's a slow motion shot of flutter with a loose whammy bar. And here's one with a tight bar. I've had a lot of trouble lately keeping uh, strings on my fender bridges. I, sometimes I don't even get an hour playing time out of it before I break my high E string. So I took a close look at how they were breaking. I saw that I was just ripping the balls right out of the thing. So I started to apply a small amount of solder in this area right here. And now I get a decent amount of uh, playing time for my strings. Well, I hope this helps some of you. I got some cool stuff planned when I get my HD16 back, so stay tuned and thanks for watching.